hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to discuss about encryption in google cloud so based on the location of the data it is stored the encryption is divided into two major categories so first is encryption at rest means whenever the data is stored in a particular location that has to be encrypted second encryption in transit means when the data is traveling from one location to the another location or from one server to the another server so just take an example you are doing any a financial transaction or you are making payment for any of the service and you enter your credit card or debit card details and you submit the form so whenever you enter these details these details will travel from your server to the bank server for authorization and if your details are correct it will respond with the correct status or a valid status and then only your transaction becomes successful so during this transmission of your sensitive data from one server to another or across traveling of the data in internet there is a threat that your data can be captured by attackers or hackers and they can use your sensitive data for a bad purpose so for that we need encryption in transit as well so in this video first we'll focus on encryption at rest in a google cloud so we'll see how we can encrypt the data in a different google cloud services like uh, virtual machines disk or a google cloud storage bucket and other services so we'll see the encryption at rest first so whenever we are talking about encryption at rest so there are three different methods of encryption at a rest in google cloud so first is default google managed encryption so whenever you are storing data on google cloud your data is by default encrypted with google cloud encryption or google managed encryption key so you don't need to take any additional action for encrypting your data with a google managed encryption key but you need a additional level of security or your client want additional level of security and they want to encrypt their data by their own they can use a google managed uh, not google managed it's a customer managed encryption and the third is a customer supplied encryption so what is the difference between customer managed encryption and customer supplied encryption so in customer managed encryption key you just use a key created in a google cloud kms and your customer supplied encryption key you create your key externally and you will use that key in uh, encrypting your data so whenever you are storing your data you have to use that key and whenever you are accessing your data you have to use that key in a google supplied encryption key but whenever you are using a customer managed encryption key you just give the path of your cloud kms key and you encrypt and decrypt your data so that is about a theoretical summary of this encryption methods in google cloud now we'll go to cloud console and we'll see how we can encrypt our data so we'll see two example first we'll try to encrypt our data in a cloud storage bucket and google compute disk and we'll attach encrypted disk to the virtual machine so let's go to my screen and we'll see how we can do we can encrypt a persistent disk using these three options first is a google managed encryption second one is customer managed encryption and third is customer supplied encryption so in first technique this is a default we don't need to do anything by default whatever the data we are storing on a compute engine disk is encrypted using a google managed encryption keys we'll see how we can use a customer managed encryption key and how we can utilize our cloud kms to encrypt our data on a persistent disk using a kms key and third is a customer supplied encryption key so i'll go to my console and try to create a disk with all these three encryption methods so let's go to a cloud console and we'll see there so i am in my google cloud project i'll go to my compute engine home page and i'll try to create a disk or i'll first try to create a virtual machine using a encrypted disk so whenever we are creating a virtual machine by default it is having the boot disk which is encrypted using a google managed encryption key but where we can see that so i'll show you so while creating a boot disk go to this change and in advanced configuration see here the encryption is always by default a google managed encryption key so you can use the same google managed encryption key or you can choose a customer managed encryption key so i will use a customer managed encryption key so for that i need to create one key in the same region or a global key so what i will do i'll go to a key management and i'll create a key so i already having a key there but still just to show you how to create key ring and key so click on create key ring and you can give the name 
test key ring this key ring will have a collection of multiple keys so i will choose a region us central one and i will create so inside key ring we can create a multiple keys so here i will create a key gce test i am just giving the name and you can set the rotation period like after how much time your key should be rotated so we don't need to worry about that at this moment we'll first create a key okay so gce test is the key we created now we'll use the same key to encrypt our virtual machine okay so let me reload this page so our key will reflect here Okay, I'll again go back to a Buddhist section. Advanced configuration. Customer managed. And now I have this GC test. So I'll choose this. So I'll be going ahead with this permission because this is required. And always remember if you are doing it using a Terraform, you should assign permission to the service agent not service account so this is a service agent for your compute so what is difference between service agent so you could see the service agent have the naming convention service hyphen your project number and this is compute system i am service account so click grant if you are creating without granting this permission it will fail and a create your virtual machine now you created a virtual machine with a customer managed encryption key but how you will use this key so one thing to remember here you are not encrypting your data inside the disk but you are encrypting the complete disks so it's just like a password for your disk whenever you are attaching or detaching the disk from your virtual machine it will use that key for the encryption i will show you that also okay so now let's open this virtual machine and let's see the key used so here you could see the customer managed encryption key now this key even used whenever you are starting or stopping your instance i will show you that so it won't ask for stopping but whenever you start our instance again it will definitely check for this so i'll show you first i will stop it and i will go and i will disable my key now i'll just temporarily disable my key okay now the key status is not available so until and unless my key is available we cannot start our instance so let's see if it is stopped okay it is stopped now suppose if i want to start it but we don't have active key version which is used to encrypt the boot disk it will not start it will give an error so let's try to start a virtual machine Now you could see here we got an error so fail to start instant cloud kms error when using key so current state is disabled so we cannot start this virtual machine until and unless we enable the key again that means all the operations are using this key for this virtual machine and disk operation so that is about customer managed encryption key now i will create one additional disk and i will try to use a customer supplied encryption key for that disk so let's meanwhile enable this version again so we can start our virtual machine and i'll go back i'll open my cloud shell because to use a customer supplied encryption key we have to create a 64 base 64 encoded key so just write a command ok 
okay we missed something okay it should be random yeah so we generated the key and we'll use this key okay so i'll just keep as it is now i'll go to disk so remember one thing so i won't be able to complete this demo because this customer supplied encryption key feature is not available for india region so it will throw an error for virtual machine so i'll try to show you that so the disk one and while encryption i'll keep it 10 gb only and the one the snapshot schedule won't work for a customer supplied so if i put customer manage this is still there if i use customer supplied this will show the disk with customer supplied encryption can't use a snapshot schedule okay because only customer have access to such keys that is pretty valid so i'll just try to put my key here so you have to put your key here directly and i'll try to create so I am expecting it should throw an error because this is not supported for India region but still I'll try yeah you could see so customer supplied encryption key feature is not available for this project but at least you could understand the process so we have to enter the key we created while encrypting the disk also for starting the VM it will ask to enter your key in customer managed encryption key it is not asking because it is having access to customer managed encryption key and cloud kms so it is by default fetching it from the kms but for customer supplied we have to enter key for each operation so that's about a customer managed encryption key and customer supplied encryption key so let me know if you have any doubt we'll try we'll try to answer in a comment section so thank you for uh, watching this video We'll see you again.